Welcome to my channel. It's a pleasure to have you. Today, I'll be sharing with you a very sustainable haul. On this channel, sustainability matters, which means on here, we repair, we recycle, we upcycle, and one of the ways in which I also try to be sustainable is to often go into my closet, look for pieces that I think I have forgotten, or raid my siblings or my son's closet. This is a continuation of that kind of sustainability. So today, we are going dumpster diving. I will be rummaging through one of my sister's many garbage bags that she has stored some of the things that she said no longer fits her. And guys, I found these gorgeous items. So what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how I styled them while I was in St. Vincent and Canada and I'll be followerizing them for you. Number one in this office edition is this gorgeous button down 1970s vibe skirt. Guys, this had me at buttons. I mean, buttons, guys. And I am in love. And if you know me quite well, when I'm in love, there are no challenges that I cannot overcome. And trust me, getting this skirt buttoned and also undone is quite a challenge. But it is such a great addition to my wardrobe that nothing, absolutely nothing, could stop me from wearing. My only disappointment about this particular piece is that it is made of mixed fibers and it's 65% polyester and 25% viscose. This is a definite no-no for me because I do not like when you mix synthetic and biodegradable fibers. But anyway, this is how I styled it for the fall. And as you can see, I am using one of my chunky knits. I have quite a few of them. And <laughs> my scarf, as you can see, it's stuck on the wall. That was so funny. And the scarf is a definite great addition to followerize this piece because it's big and blanket like and it's really really warm as you can see it also incorporates some really nice colors that i like and of course it's a burberry dupe so i'm pairing it with my dolce and gabbana belt i bought that belt before the huge controversy shame on dolce and gabbana not cool um but this is definitely my way of followerizing this piece and it really, really worked. The only tip I would add is to be careful how you pair chunky sweaters with very tight fitting midi skirts because they can definitely add bulk in areas that could be quite unflattering. The bag is a piece from Hayes. It's 100% synthetic and wearing it to death. The boot is by Ralph Lauren. It's 100% leather. I've had this for over about 10 years now. Really great piece. Love. guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when i post new videos and most importantly guys 
it's free thank you so much for subscribing love you let's get back to the video this second piece is another great find it has these gorgeous tortoise shell and that beautiful split it makes it modest and at the same time it could be very chic for the office environment but could also be very sexy if you casualize it what i also love about this piece is that it's a great material it feels like a blend of cotton and linen and you guys know those are great natural fibers the only thing is that there's no fabric composition but i am going to mention the name of the brand it's by paul separates and the only information it has is that at the back of the label it says copying would lead to legal action hey paul <laughs> If you don't include your material, that's also a bit illegal, no? Is it just frowned upon? Is it not the law to include fabric composition? I'm thinking maybe it's a sample, but it says size 12, and this is definitely not a size 12, because I don't wear size 12. So I am not so sure, Paul. Hmm. but I do love the skirt I love the style and it's a little bit tricky with the fit but it's still for me it's still a good fit when I lose those mango and avocado you know belly fat <laughs> love this skirt it's a really great piece and fits right into my wardrobe because my wardrobe has bright colors and this jacket is a case in point it's a piece by last kiss and of course you know mentioning it because this piece is a hundred percent cotton it's about nine years old and i just love pairing it with green because that's my way of color blocking. I love to add green to oranges and peaches because I just love the contrast. And of course, my broad belt. I am a broad belt girl, so you'll always find me with something of that element. I am just so ecstatic that these two pieces are natural fibers. And you guys know how much I love natural fibers this is another way in which you can polarize your skirt if you have a dress with the same color palette and for me I have so many of these pieces and this dress is the perfect marriage with this skirt it's definitely a union made in fashion heaven because this has the same color palette and again those belts guys absolutely gorgeous of course you can do without the belt like i did here and make it work for you however way you're comfortable this dress is a piece by oscar de la renta it was thrifted about 10 years ago as well i love the square neckline and those gorgeous buttons guys it it was such a great find and I love it just as much then and today really really proud of this piece outer shell is a hundred percent cotton and the lining is a hundred percent rayon this third piece is a piece that I know this piece. This piece has some memories for me because my sister thrifted this piece about nine to 10 years ago. Actually before that, about 13 when she visited me in Canada. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. There is no fabric information on this skirt. It, the label is missing, 
but an educated guess would be polyester because I am so familiar now with this fabric and you guys know I really don't like it so <laughs> but anyway the goal is not to buy new polyester items and to definitely try to reduce the environmental impact these are some tips and tricks that work for me to help you care for your synthetic items so that they have less impact on the environment and would encourage you to wear them over and over again. As you can see, I am back with my double belting because I, I love double belting. It's my thing. <laughs> I just find that double belting really upgrade a look for me and make it look a bit higher end or even runway. Maybe runway. Let's go with runway. And so I love that. I love doing so. The jacket is a piece that was thrifted about 21 years ago. I got that jacket as soon as I came to Canada and I've, I've loved it since. I thought it was 100% natural fibers, but it turns out not to be. Um, yeah, surprisingly so. But I do love it and I definitely love the way it pairs with this skirt. Number four is a gorgeous, gorgeous mixed blend of cotton and linen. In fact, it's 45% cotton and 55% linen. Oh my God, this is the perfect mixing. This is what you call the perfect mix of natural fibers. Guys, I'm in love with it. And I'm pairing it with this bag. This bag is my dupe for the following bags. Yes. Yep. The St. Laura. <laughs> Versace. Celine. Guys, none of these bags have anything on my bag. You know why? Because my bag is the piece I take every single time I'm going grocery shopping. Yes, it's my recycling piece and I have two of them actually but this is my favorite one because I love the colors I love the details on it and I think it really really it's really gorgeous for me I would take it any day over these because you know why it's made from the same fabric 100% linen and it's very similar to the money bags at the same time it's cheaper doesn't that make any sense to anyone except me and what I'm trying to do here is to bring out the green from the bag so if you guys recall from the last video I had a great top with this gorgeous big bow so that's the bow I am replicating here on this jumper because I love a great bow detail on any item but of course you can add an alternative bag like this piece by Michael Kors or whatever you have do your thing the chunky knit is about 10 years old I also got it in 2010 and of course the belt is Dolce & Gabbana. Guys, I really do hope you found inspiration from these pieces. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you do, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below and I'll catch you in the next one. So, remember to always love yourself and to accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and gorgeous. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.